Looking to expand your playlist? Well, Fat Lulz Radio has got you covered. Your nerd culture get dissected on the Fickle Fanboy with RPM. Get your fill of uncensored talk radio with the Robin Slim Show. Hear funny and interesting interviews on Unseriously Serious. Get the best life advice from Jerry and Cal on From the Bottom. Delve into the dark side of the internet with What the Fuck with Dan and Jess. Go across the pond for some British humor with the Ped and Meller Show. And if you're looking to get involved, air your grievances with all things nerdy on the League of Infuriated Nerds. All these shows and more await you at Fat Lulz Radio. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and you can find our shows on all different types of podcasts apps as well as iTunes. Be sure to check us out. Fat Lowell's Radio. Stuff full of entertainment. From the bottom. From the bottom. You know we go. Yellow? Wake up, wake up, wake up. Why you sound like you're dead? Put some, <laughs> put some energy in your wakes. You heard wake me? up. Dang. What's, what's, what's happening? Matter of fact, let everybody know who you be. It's me, Megan, Jerry's wife. Mm. Back at it for round two. This is the uh, husband and wife edition. Slash drunk, I mean, tipsy, I mean... Just sipping on wine edition. Oh, he's speaking for himself, not me. But uh, you know, it's just me and him tonight. No cow. And the turtles. And the, and the turtles. And the they're, turtles. They're, they're, they're trying to doing go into some funny business. In in pre hibernating mode. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody what somebody don't know no means no. <laughs> Do you want to know the funniest thing is I was just going over our last episode. And we were, we talked about the turtles in the last episode, which is kind of funny. Well, this is like you know our um, episode in space. Don't know, we have two little Russian desert, turtles. Yeah, Russian desert tortoises. Tortoises. That's <laughs> fancy. Yeah. yeah, they're fancy. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna jump right into it this evening. Um, How deep is it? You know, <laughs> we're just gonna jump into this. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I was a lot. We've got a phone. few subjects for y'all this evening. You know, kind of all over the map, but we're gonna do it live. Yeah, Megan, baby. <laughs> what are you doing, baby? What you doing, baby? <laughs> oh, them characters are too funny. Shout out to the, wait. What is the rule? Yeah, Daniel. Nick, no, it's Daniel. Yeah, but I think his uh, Snapchat is Nick Nick Nick. I don't even remember. But uh, we're not gonna be giving them any more shout outs. What? This is about us, not them. They're already famous. We, what? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm about to say we don't do no, no, that. Nick Nick Paddywhack is his the Snapchat. Snapchat. That boy crazy, crazy. Hilarious. But we gotta give our shout outs. That's what we do. I was just joking. I know. You know, he's sipping, so I gotta throw him off. And that don't mean I'm dipping. You heard me, but you know where we at. <laughs> what, what, what's our first? Let's jump on this let's topic, jump please. Into it with the first one, back in the day memory. We want to hear that story, baby. Which one? We want to hear that story. Like how far back in the day? Let's go back for us. For us, for us, let's let's tell them how we met. Oh, <laughs> I walked in and I looked up. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe what my eyes just saw. Uh huh. Come on, go ahead. Uh, how we met. Let's hear your story versus my story. Uh, well, my story was uh, I was at work. Shout out to Walgreens. I'm like, yeah. If you if you've <laughs> listened to. It, the first episode, you know that Walgreens was my place of business, aka that's all I did was work. But um, uh, <clears throat> I was working one night and uh, she came in with her uncle. And honestly, when she first walked in, I thought he was her sugar daddy. <laughs> so I wanted to back <laughs> off. I was like, "Oh man, she." I don't know where she he said, got that. She's oh, okay. Oh oh snap! Her feet done. Oh snap! 
man, she got a little bit of booty. But, um, <laughs> can't it's do the It's your booty, <laughs> not your beauty. Okay. <laughs> Flatbacks are no, but you know, but no, um, uh, yeah, she walked in and when she pulled up to the register, she made it quite clear. You know, you my favorite uncle, but me thinking, I'm like, well, sugar daddies be like, girl, it's all right. You do what you do. You play. As long as I just get some time with you. So, so you oh, know, no. <laughs> I thought that he was just approving of her. Girl, <laughs> yeah. But um, I was flirting with her. Well, she started flirting, you know, which I can't be mad. I thought he was cute. I was all right. I let you out, but. You know, she thought otherwise. I can't be I mad. Could, I could look past that. You know, we all got our flaws. Yeah, my curl was a little dry. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie that day. It was a little dry. The line was a little crooked, but you know. <clears throat> Back to this story. Um, what happened was she ended up coming back in the store. And. I was I, with my brother. The she was time. with her. Yeah, she was with her brother. Shout out to Kurt. And when she walked in, I'm like, oh, yo, that's old girl. I'm about to get a number watch. But I said, I ain't going to get it. Right? So I played it cool. What ended up happening was uh, she went to try to buy some cigarettes. And she went looking in her purse and was like, oh, snap. You know where my money at? And, you know, jokingly, she was like, did you take my money? And I was like, hey. If you feel I took it, just come holler at me. Come search, come search your brother. You know, and you know that was that was a cool, smooth move. You know, I thought even though she probably like, <laughs> man, but um, you know, I did so, and I didn't search him, guys. I did not. She didn't search him because I told him I didn't want to get him in trouble on the clock. Yeah, she was trying to get me in trouble on the clock, though. Nah, if I was trying to get you in trouble, I would have did it. You would have, yeah. I would have come behind that counter. Oh, Lord. But what ended up happening was um, she ended up leaving. She was continuously flirting. And, you know, like, like, uh, like a clerk, a responsible clerk, what I did was I upheld myself and I continued to do my job. <laughs> <laughs> but as she was walking out, you know, honestly, I said some slick stuff. So, you know, by her being who she was, a little curious lady, you know, I figured. No, it was bothering me so much. He said something as I was walking out the door. And all day, I'm like, yo, what did he say to me? And my brother, he was already out the door. So he's like, girl, if it's bothering you so much, just call Walgreens. And a stalker. light bulb. No, I'm not a stalker. stalker. A light bulb just went off in my head like, stalker. damn, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, called Walgreens. Yeah, I know she was. And you know what's funny? Not to sound like I'm conceited or anything, which I'm not going to think of chap. But no, he I'm like, she going to call him, back. Don't let him fool you. She going to call. I'm like, yo, she going to call back. Because the moment she left the store, I said, well, I'm going to holler at the sex. That's all I said. I ain't said nothing else. I ain't even asked for a number because I knew she was going to call the store. Some told me, oh, yeah, she, she, okay, I know how she is. You and, didn't know me from a fly on the wall. But I knew you was going to call back. Okay, check it out. This is what I did. I played it. I played it extra cool after this, right? She when she called the store to keep the conversation short, I was like, "All right, look, let me get your number, cause you know I got a line full of people." Man, it was like crickets in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear a penny drop from the pharmacy. That's how quiet it was, and I was in the front of the store, so I'm like, "Oh man!" So all it took was two times coming in the store. But I'm gonna tell you what it was. At that point, I had moved back from South Carolina in it was in 2011 in April. I met Jerry in July. So I was fresh back. Something about them southern boys. And I heard that accent. How you doing? It took two times. How that you doing, there. Mike? <laughs> how you doing, man, Mike? Master Major. That's exactly how it sounded. Guys. Master Major. I the nice one. <laughs> oh, Lord, no. That is not. Stop. 
Anyways, so that's what happened. That's how we met. It was pretty much history from there. I also can't respect you at all. I never in my life believed that uh, love at first sight. We're having a little technical difficulties here, guys. I apologize. No, that's fine. I just had to turn my game down a little bit because I was a little high, you know. <clears throat> that's what we all got to say, you know, but... uh. But yeah, that was. Then we jump back. How did? Oh, oh yeah, we jump back on how I met you. But yeah, ever since you know, that's been kind of history from there, you know, and it's been wonderful. Scrapes and bruises, but hey, who don't have them? If you six years later, six years. we just celebrated our six years together and our third year of marriage. Whoop whoop, pull over. <laughs> it's been real. It's, it's been, been really it's, real. It's been good. I I can't complain. You know, I th- I believe the last episode was I still pregnant with Reed? Uh Or had I just had him? Maybe so. I was gonna no, say, you had him. I think. Well, our baby just turned four months. If we heard any, if we heard any thunk noises, I was re kicking her belly hitting the table. So I don't, know. <laughs> I don't think that was any of that. Uh, but yeah. So what's a memory for <clears throat> you? Back in so the look, day. I'm actually going to swap it to the next. Oh, you're going to go to the next topic? No, this is it because look, the next topic is give us a story of why you were running. Okay. And I'm going to give y'all a story that is so embarrassing to me. I'm going to tell y'all anyways because I ran my behind off this day. Yeah, <laughs> did, you, did you bust your face? Look. Did you do a belly flop in the street? I'm just going <laughs> to give y'all a little. Ugh, growing up was crazy. I was from Kent, Washington. Shout out to Kent. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard living in Kent, girl. The hood. <laughs> you better watch out. It was real. I'm going to tell you. So, look. <clears throat> there, I had this friend. I'm not going to name any names because, you know, you never know who's going to stumble across our, across our podcast one day. She's snitching. <laughs> She's snitching. No, but look. <clears throat> so, one of my best friends. This was in, I'm gonna say, I think it was in seventh grade. Yep, it was in seventh grade because my brother had went to school with me. He was in ninth grade. And at our school, it was seventh through ninth. So, look. M- one of my best friends. She, there was this new girl that started coming to so the school. So, what's her name? We want to know this best friend name. We have to give these people shout outs so just so you know. This is how Why we are you trying roll. to put these people on blast? Oh, is it like that? If it's on blast, then don't shout them No, out. I mean, it's not like that, but I'm just saying, like, this was so long ago. Names are. I want to know names. Irrelevant. Okay, so I'll. What was the name? Come on. <laughs> it's <laughs> you, not that you hard. You with me. It's I know, not that but... hard. Come on. Okay, look. So it. one of my best friends. Are you going to say the name? Because I ain't going to Her name is Heather. 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 Oh, I don't know Heather. Or do I? I actually, I don't think you've ever met Heather. You sure ain't the chick with the house like right on 167 with the house right there in the what field? I don't know. Some houses, like if you're driving on 167 and you. No, no, no. Right, you're talking about Rachel. Rachel. Okay. Never mind. Go you ahead. know Rachel, but no, uh, you don't know Shout out to Rachel, but yeah. Okay, so anyways, my homegirl Heather, she started hanging out with this new girl at school. Mm, Got jealous. No, I didn't get jealous. It was whatever, you know, because I have plenty of friends. I wasn't hurting for no friends in seventh grade. I was running that school. Okay, I see you. (laughs) She's balling with friends. No, I've just always been the type of person that can hang out with anybody. Like Mm -hmm. I ran with all crowds. So because of that, I didn't. I didn't (laughs) stick myself to one crowd. So because of that, I had a lot of friends. But anyways, mm-hmm. so Heather started hanging out with the new girl and the new girl wasn't the best influence. And I believe the new girl, she didn't like me for whatever reason, probably because I was Heather's friend. She was jealous. I wasn't the jealous type. So that kind of brings us to another topic, but we'll get back to that. <laughs> well, you got a topic as a topic. I forgot. I'm on it. So look. Heather talking to the new friend, I mean, the new girl, the new girl was beefing with me, I guess, because Heather, you know, that was my dog. Like, that was my girl. We hung out all the time. So she didn't like me. So one day, me and my brother walking home from school, homegirl just, well, first Heather stopped me, was like, hey, girl, I ain't seen you, blah, 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 right? Homegirl comes from behind me, 
the new chick comes up from behind me as I'm talking to Heather and pieced me up cold, man. She punched me right in my face. What'd you do? Didn't you run home? Yes, this is what oh! I'm telling you. <laughs> this is what I'm telling you. It's oh, so God. embarrassing. <laughs> it just came out of nowhere and it was so unexpected. Like, all, all I could do was run. <laughs> it stunned me. So I just ran all the way home. And my brother he knows me like i'm quick to fight back so he and laughed he ran home he he probably would still laugh if i reminded him about that story it was you like wait, why did you run as gangsta <laughs> as you is you ran home but look the, the reason i ran is because it came so off guard like i didn't even see it coming it was such a cheap shot yeah it scared me like it startled me yeah because it came from nowhere and all of a sudden my face is being like t- being like just whoop. toe back <laughs> I ran. That's my embarrassing story of a time that I ran. <laughs> a time that she ran. Ooh, it was all bad. Shout out to the seventh grade KJH You know what? No, I got to say this. It was a time that I ran, and I kid you not. <laughs> oh, man, this is trippy. There was this one school, because first off, in New Orleans, uh, I put it in one of my songs, I mean, how schools beef. And with middle, it start off in elementary. I mean, these kids be beefing hard. I'm like, what are y'all beefing over? Who playground the biggest? Who <laughs> 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 would slide the longest? <laughs> but, man, I'm we like. We got swings on our playground, son. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, we got we got the uh, paint and everything on our basketball court and the and nets. Uh, our library bigger. <laughs> I don't know. Like, what you beef over? But in middle school. We went to Gregory. Francis W. Gregory. Yo, can't forget that school, yo. Gangsters middle school in <laughs> history of life, right? Got to say that. Shout out to everybody who went to Gregory. Whether you graduated or not, you were Gregory. You were Gady, you heard me? But, uh, man, when any, whenever we play sports, if we win in it, uh, like the way that the buses are set up, they connect, you know, and once the streets connect, you can get off and transfer. So that's what a lot of kids did. And at those transfer You're points, about public bus, yeah, okay, like the metro in in Washington in Kent. But uh, what happens is you get off at your uh, connection or whatnot, and you get off and you ride the bus. Now in that process of getting off and getting on to the next bus you connected to, there's other kids from other schools on those buses so they dislike you because you whooped them in a the game now there's three of you and like 30 of them because y'all won in a football game so they want to meet you and literally whoop football the, something serious down football south. but anything it was they don't play man it was anything and i'm like yo some days we had just they just used the beef and i kid you not man i told a partner of mine i say say son look don't get off at galvis man they going to be literally there. And when we got there, there was like three different middle schools and two different high schools that wanted to fight us. I'm like, yo, what's really going on? Like, and my, uh, my sisters, Melissa and Erica, shot y'all out. Yo, they got off the bus. Me, I'm like, I ain't getting off no bus. The moment I get off the bus, I'm getting whooped. They weren't going to mess with the girls. They weren't going to mess with, but her daddy was standing right there with his gun. He was a sheriff. Oh, well, yeah. What were you scared of then? She, they weren't Talking worried about, about him. I was no, scary. No, 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 no. <laughs> Baby, it was more than 100 kids. That's what I want you to know. Literally, if anybody from New Orleans listens to this, they would tell you, yo, it used to go down. Dang, they used to put deep. kids in a hospital over well, football game. I remember the game. time that I ran now, too. So, and but never mind, I already told my story. But man, I kid you not. <laughs> I kid you not. Uh what happened was Melissa got off the bus, huh? Erica. They got off the bus like, yeah, y'all ain't gonna do nothing. Cause her dad was like, I wish somebody would her and her brother, uh him and her brother Nelson was like, Yeah, I wish somebody would touch my sister, I'm knocking mm. you out. And uh man, somebody kicked my partner Gregory off the back of the bus. His chick kicked him. Boom. Yo, you think it was a chick? It was a chick that kicked him off from our school. I'm like, <clears throat> yo, with Gregory. I'm looking for him. Man, he got off the bus and looked. Everybody, the bus, it's like it was in slow motion because everybody looked. Everybody on the bus looked at him, and everybody from those schools looked at, you know, looked at him as well and stopped, paused, and just ran after him. And the moment one person took off, he ran so fast. I got off at the next stop and hauled 
ass Adrenaline home. Adrenaline is no joke. Shh, man, I got home. <laughs> Kevon was like, man, what you running so fast? So I'm like, yo, they jumping people from Gregory. I ain't getting jumped. You tripping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm good. I'm a phew. I got off by a lot. And that's the thing, though. It was just at the next stop. And they never thought about going over there to cutting people off. I'm like, y'all stupid. But I took that way. God led me. For real. Like, I got mm. off at that bus stop. Boy, I used to be like, Dodging but at the same people. time, but at the same time, I just like, hey, it's whatever. I use the whenever I see more than one person walking on the street, I'll be walking and looking for stuff to pick up, just to bop somebody in the head. <clears throat> but gotta be aware. You gotta be aware in your surroundings, especially when you're in the hood. But um, so what's our next topic, Mrs. Yes, Mrs. Williams? Babe. Let's see. Like I said, we're kind of all over the map today. So we're going to go with, should you tip your server? I'm going to go ahead and start that. I used to work in a restaurant. <clears throat> Most states, I believe it's, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's only Washington State and California that don't have server's wages. So every other, <laughs> what is going on? Okay. I wanted, huh? Intermission, y'all, and the the turtles were. One turtle was trying to have fun, and the other was denying him access, like the wrong code. So <laughs> it's going down in the turtle it's cage. Going damn. Anyway, so as I was saying before, we were rudely interrupted. Yes. <clears throat> y'all can't hear. Um, servers' wages. So, like I was saying. I believe every other state besides Washington and California has a server's wage, which is like $2.30. So you have to think about it. Those tips are what they live on. Yeah. Now, I will say this. I do believe that you should always tip a server. But I also believe that that server has to earn a tip. Yeah. I will tip you, but I'm not going to give you necessarily what i would give the person that gave great service if you don't give great service that's your job you need to work for it like if you can't if you can't put on that show don't be a server yeah that's if you true. can't handle it don't do yeah, that you, you know yeah you have to engage yeah some people just have that personality to connect with anybody to be able to have fun and make that experience good for that for for everyone some people don't have it some people are just dull and you know not saying that that's anything wrong but if that's who you are that's who you are being a server is not for you unless hey that's what you want but you can't complain about the paycheck I tell yeah you that. but i would never go to a restaurant and not leave a tip like that's something i just wouldn't now do. see this is what i hate i hate when you're you're good you you know you as a as a customer you you know you're upholding the customer law, which means, <laughs> <laughs> if that makes sense, which means being, you know, being polite, being respectful, you know. Right. Because it, the, goes, it goes both ways. It goes both ways. And a server is just poo. You're like, wait, wait. I asked her how she done. She said, uh, okay. Uh, yes. Uh, water. Okay. I'll be back. Wait a minute. Hold up. Right. Can, can I just establish, can you let me know what's happening right now? Because as of now, you, you start an off pool. And then when they have attitude, when they mix in their personal with their... But, you know, if it starts off bad like that, if I haven't even ordered yet, and you're you giving leave. me all that kind of attitude, oh, I'm out of there. Well, what if it's a place you really want to eat? You going to ask for another I'm gonna server? I'm going to ask for another server. That's how you do it. Yeah. I will go... I've worked in restaurants. I've I've worked retail. I've worked at a coffee stand. I've worked... I wouldn't say stand. I worked at Starbucks. <laughs> I've worked in customer service my whole career okay. of working. Of working, yeah. So have, yeah. I'm in that field. I dig well. it. Like you ain't no. What you mean for? What you mean all all that? Leave that. Leave all the toot at home. I'm sorry. And that yeah, that's true. But that, <laughs> what that's like people that brings personal to work. Right, that's something you don't do. Yeah, that's something you don't do. You leave work at work and I see, leave but home I can understand. I can understand if you were frustrated, you know, frustrated with what's going on, and you come back and you tell your mate, you know, what's going on. That's understandable, Vinny. Right, that's right. understandable. But bringing all that frust, you know, that frustration home, 
and it's going towards your loved ones, then that's a different story. Yeah. Because, you know, I have a story for probably almost every day if I could, but that's besides the point. Oh, yeah. I've dealt with some real crazies over the last couple what even just the last couple years oh my goodness we've got names for our customers that are crazy but we're gonna leave that in the store <laughs> yeah i miss man walk man walgreens <laughs> it used to be to the point where i used to just i ain't really want to go to work but i knew who was coming in now i was like yo tonight about to be crazy such and such gonna come in it's friday they got paid hey new orleans man let me get a pack of them new posts <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I, it, yeah, the customers is what made the job. Right. Well, you know that's, that's that was Starbucks for me. Oh yeah. my god, I loved my regulars. There, yeah, I still talk to some of them to this day. And I started working there in two thousand nine. Yeah, I worked there two thousand nine to two thousand eleven. Two thousand. And I still talk to some of my customers from there. You're old, but and that's yeah. all them states away. All them states. <laughs> Shout out to the Piggly Wiggly Bluffed in South Carolina. Starbucks. You starting to sound country, <laughs> Michael. You starting to sound a little, a little accent like that start to come in just a little bit. But, you know, <laughs> customer service, I tell you. But service, you know, I think that they should get paid a certain amount. And, yes, they should get paid, you know, well, with the tips. They should get a tip. You know, but if they just have attitude and service isn't good, they still have to earn that tip. That's your job. You don't get to go to work and just sit around for a paycheck. But does a tip or throw attitude for a pay- paycheck? Does a positive quote count as a tip? No, <laughs> and your phone number does not either, because <laughs> you thought your your waiter or your waitress was fine. But what if she was like, "Oh, he's so cute," she'd be like, "Oh, for real? Well, let me leave my phone number. She can hit me up and roll out." Uh, some people do it. Well, yeah. Some she, people do it. She'd be like, "Oh," as soon as you get home, damn, I can't. I was five dollars short. How you gonna pay your bills off a phone number? <laughs> Expectations. <laughs> But that's another topic. That's great. That is. So come on, let's move this thing on. What we got? So let's move to the let's let's get let's get into something a little crazy. How powerful of a person do you have to be for someone to dislike you? You know what? It's not that you have to be powerful. It's just with with well, I think. I think it's what you have to accomplish and the person that's hating you probably hasn't reached the level that you're on. So it's going to be hate because I'm pretty sure there's a yeah, lot of people. There's a lot of people that hate Jay-Z because you know why? Because at one point in his career, like he said in his music, if if so, it happened. You know, a lot of rappers, they used to sell drugs, got into music. Mm hmm. But there's only a selective few that got out of the game of selling drugs and living that life and made it to a more positive, you know, light. Right. That's what Jay Z's done. He's right. built the empire. You can't be mad at the dude. You can't he bring used back his light to yeah to do what he needed to do for success. Because think about it, a teacher tells a student, "You ain't gonna be nothing in your life. You ain't gonna be nothing but a drug dealer." Okay, you become a drug dealer, but it's one thing you learn: numbers. You know when or whatnot. So you go into your own business with maybe uh, doing clothes, starting off with just clothes or CDs. You starting Hopefully off like you that? You go into something with math because you're you'll be real good at math if ex- you've been a exactly dealer all my point. Years. Exactly, <laughs> you selling shoes. You finding out where you can get deals from. Now you now you finding out how much you the can say you yeah, can make, how much yeah, profit you can make off those Jordans. So guess what? You know what that means? Bam! But they are gonna look at it and always say, "Well, this is how you were. You started off like this, but it's all it's all on how I finish." Because right. just because a person just because a person used to live one way, that doesn't necessarily mean that that person has to live their life. Oh yeah, because the rest a of lot their of life like that. Real ugly past. Yeah, it's real ugly. I guess some people. It's all, it's all the outcome, how you grow from situations and 
And that's all it is. A person won't get props on. A person won't get props on if their outcome is better than the, the average. There's people that will give them their props, but then there's a lot of close friends and close folks that probably will say that they, you know, that this person is acting a certain way, you know, because maybe they may not come, you know, holler at me. Well, maybe whenever you do holler, the conversations are not not on, I ain't going to say on a person's level, but it's not interesting because I remember, you know, you when you was in the hood, living in the hood mm-hmm. and. You and your partners, y'all talking about, you know, this chick, that chick, you know, trying to trying to flip a pack or something, right? Your partner, he leaves. Bam. He leaves the state. He gets his life right playing ball. Now he's about to go to the league. Now he's reached a level where he started a business or whatnot, and he, he's doing his thing. He comes and holler at you. The conversations ain't going to be the same because the moment you're talking about the same chicks are you trying to score that has like five or six kids, he's looking at you like, nah, man, bro, you good at such and such. Won't you do this? Nah, man, I don't want to do that, man. I'll be selling out. Yeah, that that's happened to me before. I had a really, really close as as far as moving in different directions and, and growing up. Like I had a really close friend that had moved away he was in a real rough spot in his life and he had moved away. And when he came back to visit, we tried to sit down and have a conversation. And I didn't talk to him for a long time after that. Cause I'm like, wow, like we are on two completely different pages after all these years. Yeah. And it was real rough for a while. As far as I didn't speak to him at all, because I'm like, what do I even say to him? Like, what kind of level was he on? Uh, just on Mars. <laughs> That's the level. Like, he was gone. Is so, that in a bad way? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, it wasn't, it, like, he was just in a bad place in his life. Yeah. So, I decided, you know, I was going to reach out to him and try to bring back the person that I once knew, you know, try to help him out of this rough situation. And it it didn't work. So we had to go our separate ways. But years can do some things to people if you don't learn from your mistakes. You got to learn from your mistakes, people. You got to learn from your mistakes. You got to yes, learn from them. You do. Have to learn from your mistakes. Have to eat your dinner on the plate. Just trying to spin bars. It's the only way you can grow is yeah. to learn, you know, from where you go wrong. We all go wrong because you got to think about it. In order to reach the next level, you have to go wrong at some point. You have to figure out how you can grow because you won't ever reach the next level if you're not challenged. That's like, yeah. that's like uh, I'm going to put it in a basketball perspective. That's like a person playing with mediocre guys all the time. If he's a good if he's a good player against mediocre guys, he won't ever see how he you know how he plays against elite players. So he's great to the mediocre guys, but to the elite players he's yeah, he's, he's not, mediocre. He's not challenging himself. He's not challenging himself. So you know at some point, man, you know, mistakes are that a challenge, you know. Because you can't live your life the same. You won't ever see results in any possibilities. Even though some people like don't like change. Some people like comfortability. Which change is, is the only thing guaranteed to us in life. Change. Because yeah. if you think about it, some things get so old at times to the point where it'll drive you crazy. And if you're allowed to drive you crazy, you ain't going to live long. That's just point blank, period. That's how I see it. Everything is forever changing, though. Nothing stays the same. Yeah. But I, you you know what? And I have to say that because I made a commitment. Before I leave this earth, I'm whooping my wife in bowling. Because that will change. <laughs> that will change. Listen to me. Look me dead in my lip. <laughs> in your lip. <laughs> Look me in my mouth. <laughs> Look me in my mouth. <laughs> Listen. Look. Listen to my lower words. This man lose. here. We went bowling this weekend. Yeah, He's we, been determined since the day we met. And he found out I used to bowl. 
<laughs> that's not something. But dude, you got to think about it. That's not something you normally would would hear somebody say that they do and they're good at it. Like, but you know, there's people that joke around. They may be okay, but when you I'm hear beast, and but when you hear people say, well, when you first off see bundles of trophies of bowling. First off, that should get you. Matter of fact, <laughs> you don't even need you don't even need trophies. The only thing you need is your bowling, your own bowling ball, your own bowling shoes, yeah, and your bowling baby. bag. She do me good. Yeah, when you show up to the bowling ring, or the whatever, bowling ring, the that's bowling, when you can the tell the a non bowler. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, I'm learning. But when you show up to the bowling alley with Meet your me own at the ball, alley, son. Th- th- that says a lot. <laughs> Yeah, for real, meet me at the alley. That's just a lot, though. Look, Jerry. Like I said, we just went. We just went bowling this Shout past out. weekend. Shout out to Cletus Nicholas Cletus Lane. Came with us. He came with us, man, bro. We had but fun, look, bro. My, Appreciate you. My dad had let me. I mean, my dad had let Jerry borrow his um his ball. Yeah, you know, He's just so pro. he can show Jerry what I'm a real him. good ball compared to an alley ball looks like. Jerry walked in. <laughs> <laughs> he walked in there like he was the man. <laughs> <laughs> Two strikes in a row for the first time in life. The people on the lane, you know, it was, what was it, Saturday night? Yeah. Yeah, so it was on a Saturday night. So, you know, there was a lot of people. <laughs> there was a lot of people out there having fun. And there was like a big group that was in the lane next to us. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> they all kept looking at Jerry because Jerry whipped out his towels. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. But Pops was like, hey, make sure you wipe off the ball. So, And it was dusty. So I'm just saying, I'm, I'm granting his request and his demand. It was demands. just funny. The so, people you know looking at, at him like he's about to <laughs> you know, tear them pins apart. <laughs> yeah, you know, but hey, hey, I hit. It was a couple of times. He got lucky with a couple reaction, strikes you know, right in the beginning. Yeah, I hit two strikes back to back and I did. You know, I was like, yeah, challenge me if you want to. I try to coach him. I try to coach him on how to use that ball because, you know. She's a, pro, a good you know? bowling ball is completely different from what you will find at the alley. The alley is just a regular old, everything in the center is balanced. Like, it's just a real standard ball. There's balls out there that the centers of them are so involved. And if you notice on my dad's ball there, actually, I think I have it on mine too, but. That's one ball with a hole. I believe, yeah, so hole. you have your three finger holes, and they have you have a off counter like a, con- a counter. What am I trying to say? Oh, uh-huh. yes, sir. It offsets it, so a counterbalance, whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> what does that mean? So it, when it so a bowling uh, a lane is set up like you know from from your foul line to like halfway to three quarters down the lane, there's oil. Then the rest of it, it doesn't have oil. So in a good ball that's knows what to do on the lane, it's going to go down. Once it hits off that oil, it's going to just shoot. It's going to curve. It's going to do what it's supposed to do. Yeah. A, a straight ball is not going to do that. It's going to do exactly what you how you throw it. It's going to go straight. That's true. Yeah. I showed Nick what it was. I showed Jerry how to use the ball. And she did. I ain't gonna lie. He got him a little 135. He I did good. 135. You know. I'm My first right. game was 135. My warm up game. You know. We. This is not about you right now. <laughs> you are a professional. I'm nowhere near professional. But you know, I was on a bowling league. I think I started in middle school. She's so my best friend growing up, and mm. still to this day, Miss Elena Nixon. Mm. That was her maiden name. But she was my bestest friend forever and ever. And she Wait, is Chef the Lane one. Lane? Chef Lane Lane. Lane Lane, her last name, Nixon? Shout out. Yeah, that's her maiden name. Oh, Lord. Okay, Chef Lane Lane, shout out. So Is she... Nixon her grandfather? I don't know. I just won't know because <laughs> I'm saying that would be tight, though. It's a, Anything is possible. Anything is possible. What if I say Bruce Lee was my, my, my left cousin? You know, you got a whole bunch of stuff in you so it's possible like i said anything is possible just made me sound like trash a whole Look, bunch of stuff in me Dang. you're creole you got roots from right. everywhere i'm blazing i really don't think you have any asian in you <laughs> look in the back of re neck hi his head look. <laughs> <laughs> 
He do look like he's trying to grow a little rat tail. <laughs> hey, I ain't putting that in a ponytail. Anyway, so I think I started bowling in middle school because I used to be at the alley every Saturday morning with Elena because, you know, I had to spend the night with my best friend every weekend. Thank you. So every morning, <laughs> <laughs> every Saturday morning, I would go to the bowling alley with her. And I was like, yo, I'm always here. Why not just join the league with her? Dingles. So... I joined the league every Saturday morning from middle school. Actually, I think I was still in elementary when I started. I think I was in sixth grade. But I could be wrong. But I played all the way up until high school. I had made it to state a couple times. Um, I got, because the ranking I made in state, I got a few scholarships. Um, Yeah, I... I av- my average starting out was like 165. It got up to uh like 189 something like that. I almost made a perfect game. You had a 299 you said? Two, I think it was either 289 or 299. I don't remember. I have a pin for it somewhere. It's, I don't know if I still have it, but I used to. <laughs> That's my goal. I want to get to t- first. I want to get to two hundred just to challenge myself to see if I can get two hundred, which I know I could do. You could do it. I we know just I we can. don't go often enough. But still, me, I'm more of a. Uh, you uh, have a good coach too. Who? Oh. The who? Oh yeah, I do. Gotta see him fight trying him. to downplay me, you guys. I ain't, ain't nobody I'm a trying beast to on that alley. Just like you're a beast on the court. You know what? <laughs> I can't. Hey, shout out to Thria. Y'all still got it coming. Bet. We about to uh, beat that. Thria. <laughs> Thria, Thria you know versus Jagan. <laughs> <laughs> is it Jagan or Jerrigan? Jerrigan, probably Jerrigan. I don't remember which one he says. Y'all know who you are. Thria, what's up? <laughs> Y'all but, still um, got it coming. We ain't forget. But uh, you know what? I'm going to read you too. I'm more of a muscle, you know, a muscle memory type of, you know, person. And the only, see, this is my problem and I see it. My releases. I don't, sometimes I try to put spin on it when I don't need to. Right. If you were using the alley ball, that would be something that you would probably want to do to yeah. to make it work. Exactly. But you having, you're using a good ball. You don't have to do that. Yeah, you yeah. got to come out smooth. Yeah, that's true. But All they had, the way smooth. They had one dude. Let me tell you something. Oh, he was serious about his. He looked, I think he worked there, right? Yeah, he did. He was the one that, that he helped us, us up. when we first got there. And I mean, yeah, that boy was lethal. On, on, in the alley, I would want him on my team. Out the alley, I would want nothing to do with this young man. Because <laughs> the way he was hitting them pins. Now, me, I'm throwing the ball. I'm getting about 13, maybe 14 miles per hour. I'm thinking I'm launching that thing. No. I look over to this dude. Now, mind you, I'm throwing the ball probably not even aligned with my shoulder blade. This young man, the ball is over his head, slinging that thing at 28 miles per hour. I'm like, oh, no. Yeah, his warm-up game was like 243 or something crazy. And that's a warm-up game. Yeah, like he was just warming up. That's up, yo. And then but I was, bowled with people like that. Like, I bowled with people with like over 200 averages. And you whooped them up. I mean, there was times that I beat them, but I was on a good one that day. Yeah. Where I used to. Well, I used to have some just really good days where I would just, I would, I would be there. I was there to play. I, I, love it, <laughs> I was there to whoop some I'll booty. Like, oh, that's my sassy favorite. Oh, <laughs> you no pain. Ooh, ooh. I'm rubbing yeah. them ankles tonight, girl. <laughs> I would get so. Cause sometimes we would have to like drive. I think we. I think the farthest we went was either Spokane or Longview, whichever is further away i think spokane but i used to travel for state competitions and i would be so pumped like yeah i made it this far you know Mm -hmm. you playing people from all over all over the state of washington that is pretty cool i made it pretty high in state one year but i ain't gonna brag on that you know i ain't gonna brag on it i I did get a scholarship you know what i think she could become a pro who wants to be a pro bowler I don't know, but after you put up your ball and you shine and they put it in your in your trophy case that's in your house that you just built, 
I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. No. But, you know what I'm saying? I, it's it's be always cool. just been a fun thing for me. And honestly, if I didn't have bowling on Saturday mornings as an adolescent, oh Lord, who knows where I would be. <laughs> Have you met yourself? That's why I'm saying that. Bowling <laughs> kept my ass out of trouble. <laughs> yeah. But hey. Shout out to Kent Bowling. Kent Bowling. I, I, I want to get in the league. That'd be fun. I think we should do a family league. I really do. Like the boys and us. Because we did a family league with my parents for a little while. Like one season. Just for fun. So how did it work? So did It they- was families against other families. Did they have like really mom, good? dad, me, Sarah, and Curtis were all one team. So who was the best out of all y'all? Out of me, Sarah, and Curtis, or out of everybody? Because my you, dad Sarah is a Curtis. beast. Oh, pff, yeah. duh. <laughs> and out of everybody, Curtis was pretty good. Sarah, she was poo. I don't remember her being very good. Sorry, Sarah, if you were. I do remember your little pink and purple ball, though. That was the thing. We went out and we got us all our own bags, our own balls, our own shoes. And we was the Pringles on that alley. I don't even know if we had a team name, to be honest. We sh- Maybe we Stacks or name. something. I don't Call know. Call them Team <laughs> Curls. They'd be like, who is this Team Curls? Well, that, we- that would be us. I really think we should join a league, though. I think it would be so fun for the boys. Yeah. We should look into that. Yeah, man. We're going to look into that. Yeah. That would be fun on us. Y'all let us know if you like bowling, if you think it's boring. If you like, you know what? I think this is for everybody. If you, um, if y'all want to have like a bowl, a bowling night, hey, let us know because that'll be fun. We all get together. We should put together a from the bottom bowling event. Look at you. Mm, watch for it, y'all. Watch for it. We come meet the come meet the crew live and in action. That'll be dope. Yeah, <laughs> we need to talk that into works. Okay, okay. We got another promoter over here. Mm-hmm. We got somebody. It's we on. got somebody. Okay, that will be tight from the bottom. A bowling event. event. A bowling mm-hmm. event. That ain't something people. We'll do that when we need to invest in some new equipment. <laughs> uh, I was qu- kidding. <laughs> I would quit. Your cat was just talking about that the other day. Like, man, I'm thinking about getting another interface. There you go. Let's have a bowling event to raise money. For us to get a new interface. We buy diapers, y'all. We ain't got no extra money right now. <laughs> the way that young man takes dumps. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, he does a lot of that. <laughs> yeah, takes after somebody I know quite. Oh yeah, the apple don't fall far from the tree. You, that's you all day. Don't let him get some dairy in his system. You gonna, but that's no here or there. We're so, gonna, we're gonna. No, we ain't gonna move on from this. <laughs> no, you ain't about to call me all like you ain't have nothing to do with it. Oh, like your stomach, no. like your stomach don't bubble every morning. You know, <laughs> like I said, we. <laughs> We going to get this thing on, on the uh, on, Actually, you know, we keep being interrupted by these turtles. So I think we're just going to cut it short tonight. We're going to cut it short. And, and, and we're not going to have a sports subject because, you know, the wife is not very keen on sports. She liked our basketball. Oh, oh. I, I'm, I'm really starting to dig basketball, but I don't really have a choice because I am now a basketball wife. <laughs> well, you're a basketball mom, just not as a wife. As well as a wife. Yeah, I can't be mad. But I'm not mad. I want to give a shout out to, to I'm our their squad, biggest fan. Down South Ballers. You know, which consists of. They played their hearts out in this competition that was last Saturday. Juan, Nick, Cal, and myself. You know, we, we didn't win, but guess what? We fought, you heard me. It was a good fight. Too. It was It was a good fight. You know, we we did our thing, and uh, and it hey. was hot as it was hot whew, the burgers. devil's toenails. It was hot out there. It, hey, it was, but we managed, and we got through it. We fought. And we we thought we had it, but everybody did their thing, though, man. Shout yeah. out to everybody, man. We got upcoming ones too, but we gonna move this. Uh, we gonna move this thing along. Go ahead, and wrap it up, and get y'all the inspirational quote. So wait, let me let me sip my wine right quick. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. The best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best for today. Amen. I also have another one. Amen. Because that one is nice. So all you can do is live for today and prepare for tomorrow. That's true. Now check this one out. We must let go of the life we have planned so as to accept the one that is awaiting for us. That's beautiful. Drops the mic. I'm going to drop the mic. I'm going to press pause. I'm going to press stop. That's that's just all around just true. You heard me? Because yeah. we, we all, at some point, we all expect to be somewhere in our life. You know, this is what we want to be. We have this plan. Some people know how to accept change as it happens. Some people, it may take a little longer to accept or even learn how to balance the change like i said earlier the only thing guaranteed to us in life is change it's change it's never ending yeah you have to learn to accept you may want to be that nfl player but what if you get hurt that's like honestly that's like a lot of first round players because ben simmons that happened to him who play who plays for 76ers uh I think his name is uh, Michael Phelps. I can't help Phelps. you out on this. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, he he just got injured during the summer league, and these guys get hurt, and, and it's their not whole promised. Life is based around football or basketball or whatever they're going for. Yeah, and when something happens, and that has to come to an end, it's like what you do. Mm-hmm. You know, and yeah, not everyone has a plan B. You just gotta let. Sometimes you gotta just let life happen. You know, take it for what it is and make the best of it. Yeah. I would say if you got lemons, make lemonade. But what if you're a diabetic? You make non-sugared lemonade, duh. You know how tart lemonade tastes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, tart lemonade. You use Splenda. <laughs> I ain't going to tell you what that sound like, <laughs> but you know what that sound like. <laughs> WPS. <laughs> WPS. <laughs> and I ain't talking about Washington Patrol, Washington State Patrol. No, WPS. <laughs> no, that's different. Never mind. <laughs> WPS, though. You know Yo, what that means. about to wrap this up. It's, he been drinking on that wine too much. Not enough. But I have to get up. In about four hours and 30 minutes so I can get to work on time. But most likely, I'll end up being a couple minutes short due to the fact that it's my school. I just tell them I was on four or five. He'll make it to work on time, y'all. Okay. Listen to this boy. <laughs> no, but four or five sucks. If you from Washington, you know four or five and one six. Oh, I know it sucks, it sucks. I'm just saying by five minutes. If I say I'm in traffic, I'm in traffic. If I just say I woke up late, I woke up late. I can't be mad because sometimes I wake up late, and you know, you know the reason why I wake up late. Sometimes we out here, we out here trying to do this podcast for y'all. That's what he's saying. He's dedicated. He's changing the subject again. But it's cool. Yeah, I'm dedicated. He's dedicated. I'm dedicated to my job. This podcast is my job. Because guess what's going to happen? We going to blow up, baby. Woo, woo, woo. All right, y'all. Uh, we going to come to an end, you heard me. Uh, anything you want to say before we leave? Besides what you just said? Cal and J. A day. Ah, snap. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Are you going Are you going to do the... uh Come Oh, snap. <laughs> that was what I'm talking about. I, I took my time off. We do it one more time. And we out. (laughs) (laughs) This has been a Fat Moles Radio production. To hear more shows like this, go to soundcloud.com slash Fat Moles Radio. From the bottom.